Welcome to today's Sunset Safari and we're starting things off with some elephants. Aren't they absolutely precious? I probably should pull my hat down. My name is Taylor and on camera with me today is Craig, aka Batman, aka Butternut Craig and any other nicknames you can think of him. But we've got a lovely herd of elephants walking right towards us with the most gorgeous view of the world, the tree line. And below that tree line is the Mara River, but you can't see it from here. Now, remember, this is live, this is interactive, this is happening right now. So, hashtag Safari Live with any of your questions, or you can chat to us on the YouTube chat. You can do that too. Now, we won't spend too much time with these eddies, but I thought that this was just too beautiful to pass up. And, well, they're my favorite animal in the whole wide world, so why not spend a couple of minutes with them? But I have some exciting news for you. There's actually lots of exciting news today. We saw a cheetah just after drive ended near those lions that were trying to hunt a giraffe. They didn't hunt a giraffe while we were there, though. So we're going to see if we can follow up on that female cheetah. Whether she'll still be around, I'm not so sure. But what I'm really finding quite funny is these two elephant calves that keep trying to use mom for shade. <laughs> They're not standing near her side. They are always standing on her left-hand side and are trying to get as close to her bottom as possible. It's quite a hot, warm day today. I think mom needs to take those lot to a mud wallow where they'll have a fantastic time and they can cool themselves down, have a drink, quench the thirst, and splash around in the mud. An elephant's favorite thing to do. Now, CNAC, you're wondering what is the maximum size an elephant get? Well, an elephant bull average weights between five and five and a half tons, I would say. Um, however, the elephants seem slightly larger here. Well, at least the cows. Most, all the cows I've seen have been big. There hasn't been one small cow. But there was a group of elephants known as the Magnificent Seven in the Greater Kruger National Park. And they were exceptional. They were thought to have had the woolly mammoth gene. And if I'm not mistaken, those elephants... Uh, weighed well or closer towards six tons if not even bigger than that so there's still some giants out there and also their tusks grew slightly different they grew straight down to the ground rather than that slight sort of curve that we typically see with the elephants in South Africa and it seems to be quite common here in Kenya too to have elephants with sort of curved tusks I haven't I actually I forgot to tell you I saw a couple of elephant bulls too um, that were quite big tusks it's not massive ones like we get in Kruger now, planes and trains, you're wondering if uh, the big elephant is fully grown. Yeah, she won't get any bigger than that. Her tusks might grow a little bit longer. And she's a she's quite a large cow. Like I was saying now, the elephant cows in the, well, in the Mara Triangle, at least, are massive. They're much larger in, in terms of an average size for a female than the Kruger elephants. Of course, that's just my opinion. Uh, and I've stated it a couple of times, even while we were in South Africa, I said to you, we hadn't been seeing too many big cows and I pointed out just before I headed up uh, this side that I mean, there was one herd that we had three rather large cows in which was really nice to see so that means that they must be much older I don't think that they're particularly young and there's lots of old girls around here and some zebra some stripes to go with the elephant always complimenting an elephant's outfit some stripes and off they go and I love the fact that you've got the beautiful blue sky in the background it's not often that we get to get shots like this where we're a little bit lower. Wait. Mom reprimanding that youngster. I'm sure. I don't know if it's her oldest son, but there are. that is a young bull tailing the herd. It could be, of course, a uh, previous offspring. Wouldn't surprise me at all, the three of them. And then that's another female on the left-hand side. I don't think that they're necessarily related, but there's also a possibility that it could be one of her daughters from previous years they're going to cross the road now and there's no shortage of water around at the moment after all the rain we've had and they don't need to travel down to the river to drink they can actually just stop in the little drainage lines on the sides of the roads and there are plenty of little mud wallows as well in the middle of the open plains right we're gonna go and try and find ourselves a spotted cat however tristan is bumbling about in the sabi sands i call him the king of leopards and he's looking for the princess today